Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about some songs that inspired my first book, Fire. Um, this was a book published in early 2010 and actually I have already created a video talking about what the book is about. So what I will do is put that underneath this video so I don't have to talk about it a lot. I'm sure you don't want to hear all about it in two different videos. But anyway, um, I, I will say there was a book that took place in the early 90s. It talks about the music industry. The main character joins a band, the band becomes popular, and uh, that's all you need to know for right now. But obviously, when I was writing it, a lot of music from that time frame was inspiring to me. Um, grunge, obviously, was huge back then, uh, for those of us who remember that. <laughs> um, I had I made a lot of mentions as far as like Pearl Jam and um, Alice in Chains was another one. There was a whole whole CD that I just listened to repeatedly while writing this book. It was just amazing. I had the song called Rotten Apples in it, which I loved. Um, all those songs bring me back in my own life, as I am sure a lot of you who have, um, who grew up in the 90s or were young in the 90s probably can relate to that. I also mentioned Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I love. I love anything they do. But um, that song specifically is important because the main character sings it at a kind of um, open mic night that they have at the very beginning of the book. In fact, the first chapter, and she's really nervous. She's not used to singing in front of people. It's kind of um, her first step in that direction as far as joining a band and, and the rest of the story that takes off from there. Um, also, I always think of the song Rock of the Ages by Def Leppard because when I'm first visualizing that scene where she's walking into the club and uh, or bar or whatever and it's about to sing the song, um, I, I just picture that. I can hear that song playing in my mind, sort of like an introduction to the story when it's starting. And... Um, I don't think what else. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson, his music inspires a lot of my writing, which might surprise people, but my, my books are kind of a little on the dark side, so it shouldn't be that surprising, really. Um, if, regardless of what you think of him, his music is... It, it's, it's very intense, and I think that's part of the reason why I connect with it a lot when I'm writing. Um... That's pretty much it. I think I mentioned in a previous video that Sarah McLaughlin music was very inspiring to this character. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So anyways, uh, if you want to check into this video, I will have another one talking about the book itself. I will also have a link to the book so you can see what it is and what it, what, um, what it looks like and what it's about. Maybe read a chapter or something. Anyway, thank you for checking out this video. Thank you and have a great day.